Well, greetings. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Handheld Hack. This is the show, the netcast, about hacking your handheld device, whatever it might be, or news about what's going on in the handheld arena. That includes uh, phones, that includes tablets, that includes your iPad, your iTouch, your I everything else in between. And uh, we've got lots of stuff that you can pick up with your hand that you can use uh, and enjoy your handheld stuff. All right, so I've got actually a handheld device over here uh, that I use quite a bit, and that is my tablet. And uh, it's quite handy, it has a little cover here that I like. And of course, as you can see also, uh, we have two cameras now here in the studio, and we're using that. So, um, kind of getting used to it though, still, still kind of kicking the tires and getting things used to it. Um, so. You kind of have to bear with me a little bit as I gain experience with two cameras. All right, let's talk about some of the items we have on the Handheld Hack website and blog. Uh, Kindle Fire is now over 50% of all of the Android market. This is a story from April 26, so it's a little bit old. But still, you know, as much as I love my Kindle Fire, I'm not surprised that it is 50% of the Android market. But if you think about 50%, that includes all the Android phones, all the Android tablets, all the Android devices, and yet the Fire is 50% of that market. That's impressive. So pretty cool stuff. All right, next item. People are who are news addicts, they are news addicts, are also addicted to their handheld devices. Kind of makes sense because when you have a handheld device, like I was talking about with the, with the tablet here, uh, it's easy to catch up on your news. So if you're a news hound, you're always checking out what's going on in the world with, of, of news, then it makes sense that you'd use a handheld device to do so. So uh, more folks who are news hounds tend to use those kinds of devices. More than half of the Americans who regularly read news get it on a handheld digital device according to new research. The Pew Internet and American Life Foundation found that 54% of news reading adults turn to cell phones, tablets, or e-readers, and that's good news for writers. 41% of tablet owners and 35% of e-reader owners said they were reading more since the advent of e-content. E-content. <laughs> so anyway, on the heels of our earlier thing of 50% of all Android market is the Kindle Fire, there's also a new story that says that Kindle Fire sales are kind of fizzling a bit. In other words, they're kind of, you know, dying out. Well, that doesn't make any sense to me because I, I tell you, I love the Fire. I think it's an awesome device. So I don't know quite what's going on with that. If it's just that maybe Amazon's been reporting the sales more than they really are and it's kind of getting adjusted for reality. I don't know. Anyway, it says, Amazon likes to tout the Kindle Fire as the number one best-selling, most gifted, and most wished-for product. It pedals without actually disclosing any real sales numbers. But evidently, that doesn't quite mean that it is as much as you'd think in terms of sales. After an initial impressive surge, sales on the device appear to be declining precipitously. That's an interesting word. At any rate... Uh, you know, dudes, I know there's a lot of uh, competition out there, the Nook, and a lot of other neat handheld devices. As a matter of fact, there's a brand new Nook out now uh, that is a cheap, cheap as an inexpensive, uh, reader. They just lowered their, their monochrome Nook down to $79, and they have one now that's backlit for $139. So, yeah, there's competition out there, but I'm telling you, the Kindle Fire, dude... I love it. It's an awesome tablet as well as an awesome e-reader. And I read a lot of Star Trek books on my Nook. Just saying. So anyway, if you're looking for a good e-reader and tablet, check out the Kindle Fire. And by the way, I don't get any like you know kickback for recommending it. I just like it personally. Just saying. So anyway, 
Uh, did I mention? I'm not sure that I did. I should have done this if I didn't. That we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on the handheld hack. Wow. I almost didn't mention that we were members of the Tech Podcast Network, and yet we are. (laughs) Anyway, remember until next time, you're only as good as your last hack.